All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to inverse coordinates, uh, get the distance right here, 115 feet. Uh, I think that's rounded also to the nearest two points, right? So that's pretty even. Uh, let's say it was 10. So, and then you can edit these points. That just rounds it to the hundreds. And then, uh, so you have coordinates uh, point one northing and easting, point two northing and easting, and then here's the coordinates on the concatenated or whatever you want to call it, the, with the comma in the middle, so that you can paste it into a sheet like this, right? And then save it as X Y Z and draw it. So maybe what we'll do is uh, some random number and then check it in the coordinates. But the way I did this is here's the difference, right? Just subtracting. Well, I can't I can't edit it now. I don't really want to edit it, so I don't want to make a mistake. In fact, I'm going to save this control S. I just finished. So this takes a let me uh, do, do, do. going to review. I'm going to unprotect the sheet so I can see where show you where those. So right here is taking the north thing, subtracting them, subtracting the well, it's. E3, so it's point 0.2 from point 0.1, same condition, right? That way you get a definite northing negative positive orientation, right? And let's see, so here's the angle. It's degrees, arc tangent, and then it's taking, let's see, if I can turn that on, the uh, arc tangent of the northing minus the northing. I think it's, it would be, Rise, run, yeah. So northing E2, now it's taking the eastings, dividing it by the northings, which is interesting, right? Oh, yeah, because we're looking at uh, something like this. So, right, you're going to have this shaped like that. And then we want this angle here, right? So the X becomes the sort of like a, anyways, that's kind of, you normally think of a triangle the other way, but in, in doing coordinates, it's everything's going to be off of this axis here, this way, and then it's going to be this way, and then this way, and then finally all the way around to this one, right? So that's what we're looking for. So we need to calculate this angle first on each one, right? That's what I did here. So it's given me the arc tangent of the east thing divided by the north thing, right? Uh, between the two points, right? North thing. Yeah, so it's taking the point A and point B. Anyways, you're getting that between the two points, right? So I did... Uh, So it's not doing anything with these. This difference, oh, this difference, so the length, right? So if you go here, right here, it's using, uh, I actually just did it here. So honestly, these aren't used for anything. It's just a difference in more things and a difference in more things. We did it right here in the formula. So if you zoom in, you can probably see that formula. I can't really zoom into that, but you know what I can do? I can take this, control C, and I'll put it right next to it. Control V, and then be able to see that formula there. Same thing there, and then uh, just like this, taking those two and just put it right next to each one, right? So I just did the text. And then here, I'm not sure. I just didn't use it, right? Uh, I could have used it for the length, that's all. Could I north thing difference in? Now, uh, it's interesting because it's given me a difference in north things, but if you square them up, you can still get the same equals square root of this squared. It would be positive plus this. 
1504 also. It's always positive. I just didn't use it. Uh, many used the formula, did not the, of those two cells. And then here we got, these are nested functions, and it's rounded. So I got it rounded to five decimal places. And then uh, you go here, you can see the formula here. If, so that starts at quadrant one through quadrant four. If they're both positive, X and Y are positive, it's going to be positive, which means I wouldn't do anything, right? So it just tells it if it's bigger than zero, and if it's bigger than zero, then A14, which would just be the direct number from that cell, A14. Otherwise, don't do anything, leave it empty. And then same thing here. If it was, uh, no, okay, you can see it's in quadrant two. If it's in quadrant two, if it's bigger than zero, if the, if the C5, so if the north thing is bigger than zero, and the east thing is negative, then add 360. So it's over here negative. Negative, let's say it's negative 45, it would add 360, it would be 235, I think. Uh, there you go. So actually, it's saying this in quadrant two, and it's give, lighting it up. So it's 143 degrees. I'm going to go 143 degrees is it's 143 degrees from zero. I'm going to have a little work to do on this one. All right. So it's a negative north 10, negative 10. A north no, that's why it's negative. If this was zero, zero. And we're at the north thing of negative 10. It's in the east thing of positive 10 and negative. So it's in quadrant three, which makes it's in 135. And if it was in quadrant three, the formula is telling it if it's less than zero, if C5, the north thing is less than zero. And then, uh, and also if the E5 is less than zero, it would be adding 180. Anyways, and then if it's not between those parameters, it just returns a nothing, right? With those open quotes, or with the quote, quote. And I'm not sure that that double quote and then the print and double quote again, except I was getting a false if it if I didn't put that in there. So that I was putting nothing if both conditions are anyway. So that's the formula. If you want to look at that, I'm just going to put the four, first one, second one, third one. So I'll do that. I'll put them right next to there so you can see the if functions. Copy. Control V. This should be in format cells. That, right? So those are all the nested functions. What I did was I just put those together in this one here. It's not an absolutely 100% certain that I didn't modify. It looked like they did it. I did them all. So then I, I just nest them together. So if you go right here, zoom in on that. I think I can. If you look at the first one, the 5 and 8 equals A8, right? A14. Eight, so there's something going on there. That should be a fourteen. And this one's saying it's a eight. Oh yeah, so a eight, right? And then this one is a fourteen, a fourteen. So that doesn't actually look like. So let's see what it looks like in there. So that's it's saying an a eight. For some reason, I. Copied that and then redid it. Copy. I did some work on it over. I'm going to take that, delete that, and go Control V. Now you have the A8, right? That's the A8 is the incomplete angle. It's just showing you what the, the orientation is from this here, and then here or here. It's going to be the negative 
change and will look the same on both sides, you know. But it's telling me now that I've used this add or subtract 180 or 100, 360, and it'll put it in the right quadrant. And that's it. Uh, let me get rid of all this. If, you, if you're not sure how this works because you can't see it, let me know and I'll zoom in on it. So I'll zoom in on those. Pretty simple. Right. And then this formula here is just those pasted together with the and and the if. I'll start over there. Ends at H. And there you go, you got the rest of it there. And like I said, it's just those copied and pasted. And then uh, that's it. Hopefully that helps you in your career. Uh, I just had a situation where everything was in GPS coordinates. And uh, I, I don't have it on the computer, so I actually have to type in the GPS coordinates for points at, you know, relative, relative points. And this is in degrees. And then uh, you could convert that into degrees, minutes, and seconds. I had a formula for that years ago. I'm not sure if I could find it now, but it was difficult to find and create tune and i think i still ended up with you know 60 60ths of a second so something that was weird in that one too but that's possible to find i'm sure be nice if excel had a little button where you could just go click dms but don't hope that helps in your career i'm sure there's a lisp routine for it uh i haven't found it i haven't looked I don't do too much of this anymore. I uh, hope that helps in your career and, uh, you know, helps you understand so you can help others understand it too and help them get more efficient in their work process. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.